that poem, Black and Sun. There's just lots of words, black, 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 black. The sun is so direct on our people that the richness of our black skin is what makes the black, black, black sun. My name is Christina Noabiga, and I'm a British Nigerian photographer based in London, and my work is about nature and the communities that surround it. I believe that I'm here in Nigeria for many reasons, which is beyond photography and is to be closer to my culture. I grew up in a household that was quite artistic, so I wasn't told that being an artist was wrong, and I feel like my inspirations came naturally. The type of work that I do is all about how African diaspora people work and live within nature. When I'm making photographs, I'm looking for a story that is untold and undiscovered. I gravitate towards water. Flowing with the natural energy from the ground, from the earth, is what will provide you stillness. Escape to a river, escape to the nearest waterfall. Get out of the concrete and the steel and just let the river flow. My portfolio is full of what I've already developed for Adobe Stock. I made three projects. One was about self-care at home with gardening. One was about a eco dye group that use eco materials and make a service for people who want to invest in this world. And the third story was about a family in Lufasi Park. Adenikes works in Lufasi Park as one of the site managers, and she's also a conservationist. People want to buy Lufasi land and turn it into buildings. And I think that's the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. I think she appreciates the photography side because it allows Lufasi to live forever. When you look at old stock photography, it was very much white kitchen and green salad, but now it's very much about authentic lifestyle. The Adobe Stock Library is now showing the fearlessness of what it means to be a real person in this world. I'm now able to fulfill a legacy that will live on beyond me and there will be a hard copy of what I'm doing where people can feel like they're in the Nigerian jungle, hearing all the birds, hearing the water stream. You can make nature be a part of your home. That's the story that I'm trying to tell. <laughs>